Hi right, guys, I am back. Going to talk about the humiliating loss that I watched Michigan suffer for the back-to-back -back weeks. This time against the Wisconsin Badgers. Um, starting out, um, I'm gonna run through stats and I'll kind of go to from there. So, starting out, Joe Milton starts the day with two interceptions right back to back. He Going on for the day, nine completed passes of 19 for 98 yards, no touchdowns, two picks. These last two weeks, um, he's looked terrible. I thought he played good against Minnesota, decent against Michigan State, and then awful back-to-back -back weeks. Um, just effort is lacking, passion is lacking, effort is lacking. Tim Harbaugh has to be gone. I mean. So week one, I was like, okay, he might be back, you know? Cool, whatever they win, right? So I lose Michigan State. All right, we'll call it a hiccup rivalry game. It's like, eh, they're looking kind of bad. We'll see what happens. Indiana stomps us, and I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a bad season. And then uh, Wisconsin just proves it. Um, proves it 100% to me um, that, uh, yeah, Harbaugh just got to go. Um... Something just tells me he still has a hand in this offense. I don't know if, if it's Gaddis and his play calling is going to be terrible, but man, and, you know, we just get stomped again from start to finish, just like last week. It's just so demoralizing. Um, I am, have been one of the fans that really, rarely ever turn off a game early. I never do it. I've done it before this. I've done it um, when we lost, when we gave up 60 points. Um, to Ohio State. I broke my iPhone. I smashed my phone. Um, so, yeah, I'm that kind of fan. I don't, I, I, I shouldn't be doing that and I'm not going to do that again. But it was just so demoralizing, I guess. So that happened. Today, you know, like, I've seen on Twitter and I feel the same way. It's like, I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not sad. I'm just sick of it, you know? I know Michigan will be a good team again one day, but um, Harbaugh is not going to get us there, I don't believe, at this point. And I firmly believe he needs to be fired at the end of the year along with Don Brown. With that being said, Cade McNamara came in um, and he threw four for seven, 74 yards and a touchdown. He kind of gave us, um, you know, a little bit to be happy about. He threw a nice pass and uh, Sandstone made a great catch for a touchdown. Um, but it, we were just getting stomped in. So that was our only really bright spot. Defense just getting gassed in the run. Being out our best two defensive ends, um, I mean, who weren't really doing anything regardless. So, backups come in and they get gassed. Um, they gave up a 20-yard rushing touchdown where they didn't even try. They didn't touch them. They didn't touch the running back until he was at the two-yard line. Like I said, lack of effort, lack of passion. They just don't care anymore. Um, if Ohio State wanted to, they could put up 100 on us this year. Um, I jokingly said on Twitter that they'll probably stop at 65 again, but yeah, they're definitely going to hit 50 again this year, um, but um, yeah, not much more to be said, um, there's not really stats that need to be gone over, I will say that we had, uh, what is that, 20 and 15 is 35, 36, 42, we had 43 rushing yards this game, Terrible. Ronnie Bell looked good on one drive when he came out of the second half trying to come back. He had some couple a couple nice catches, but uh, all in all, just a garbage game. Team wasn't ready to play. They get stomped. Glad we weren't at, we weren't at the game because the entire stadium would have been booing by halftime, and uh, Michigan gets stomped again. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'm back once again. Um. Merck didn't have as great a game as I thought he would I, because we were making every quarterback look like a Heisman candidate, but uh, he went 12 for 22, 127, two touchdowns. Their running back had 87 yards, and what's crazy is we used to be able to just clamp the run. That nobody could run on us, and now it's just 81 for one of their running backs, 87 for, for one of their running backs, 71 for another. I think their receivers had two receivers at 65 yards. Oh my god, I want to cry. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Um, 
demoralizing loss. I think we play like Rutgers next week, so maybe we'll get a win there. But uh, at this point, it's it's uh it's been tough. But uh, we're gonna be back. Love Michigan forever. Go blue. Hope you guys enjoyed. Pain season continues. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.